Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read unit number 19, The Hill Loft from Oxford Reading Circle 6. So we start our lesson. This is page number 169. I'm going to tell you what happened when a boy went to the back of the north wind. The boy was known as Little Diamond. His father, who was a coachman, had named him after a favorite horse called Diamond. He lived in a low room over a coach house and one side of the room was built only of boards. I am not sure whether I ought to call it a room at all. It was just a loft where they kept hay and straw and oats for the horses. So when Little Diamond lay there in bed, he could hear the horses under him munching away in the dark. Munching eat something steadily and often audibly. Or moving sleepily in their dreams, Diamond's father had built him a bed in the loaf with the boards all around it because they had so little room in their own end or over the coach house and diamond's father put old diamond in the stall under the bed because he was a uh, quiet horse and did not go to sleep standing but lay down like a reasonable creature there was hay all around him piled up in great bundles to the very roof. Sometimes he could reach his bed only by climbing through a channel in the hay. The stalk of hay rose and fell, of course. Sometimes the whole space of the loft with the little panes in the roof for the stars to look in would lie open before his open eyes as he lay in bed. Sometimes a yellow wall of sweet sweet smelling fibers closed up his view at a distance of half a meter he had not the least idea that the wind got in at a chick in the wall chick a young bird and flew about him all night for the back of his bed was only of boards two centimeters thick and on the other side of them was the north wind now as I have already said, these boards were soft and crumbly, crumbly, breakable. One night, Little Diamond found, after he lay down, that a knot had come out of one of the crumbly boards, and the cold wind was blowing in upon him. Diamond was not someone to ignore something broken that could be fixed. So he jumped out of bed again, got some hay, twisted it up, and having thus made it into a cork, stuck it into the hole in the wall. But the wind began to blow loud and angrily, and as Diamond was falling asleep, out blew his cork and hit him on the nose just hard enough to wake him up. He searched for his hay cork, found it, stuck it in harder and was just dropping off once more when pop. With an angry whistle behind it, the cork stuck him again, this time on the forehead. He gave it up, drew the bed clothes above his head and was soon fast asleep. Although the next day was very stormy, Diamond forgot all about the hole, for he was busy making a cave by the side of his mother's fire with a broken chair, a three-legged stool, and a blanket, and then sitting in it. His mother, however, discovered the hole and pasted a bit of brown paper over it, so that when Diamond had snuggled, snuggled, Settle or move into a warm, comfortable position. Snuggle down the next night. He had no occasion to think of it. Presently, however, he lifted his head and listened. Who could that be talking to him? The wind was rising again and getting very loud and full of rushes and whistles. He was sure someone was talking and very near him. 
too it was but he was not frightened for he had not yet learned how to be so he sat up and hearkened hearkened to heed or attention to what is said at last the voice which though quite gentle sounded a little angry appeared to come from the back of the bed he crept nearer to it and led his ear against the wall then he heard nothing but the wind he felt about with his hand and came upon the piece of paper his mother had pasted over the hole against this he laid his ear and then he heard the voice quite distinctly distinctly in a way that is very noticeable or apparent there was in fact a little corner of the paper loose and through that as from a mouth in the wall the voice came what do you mean little boy closing up my window what window asked diamond you stuffed hay into it last night i had to blow it out again you can't mean this little hole it isn't a window it's a hole in my bed i did not say it was a window i said it was my window but it can't be a window because windows are holes to see out of well that's just what i made this window for but you are outside you can't want a window you are quite mistaken windows are to see out of you say well i am in my house and i want windows to see out of it but you have made a window into my bed well your mother has got three windows into my dancing room and you have three into my garret garret a top floor so you just open that window well mother says i shouldn't be this obliging this obliging uncooperative but it's rather hard you see the north wind will blow right in my face if i do i am the north wind oh said diamond thoughtfully then will you promise not to blow on my face if i open your window i can't promise that but you will give me the toothache but what's to become of me without a window i'm sure i don't know all i say is it will be worse for me than for you no it will not you shall shall not be the worse for it i promise you that you will be much the better for it just you believe what i say and do as i tell you well i can pull the bad clothes over my head said diamond and feeling with his little sharp nails he got hold of the open edge of the paper and tore it off at once in came a long whistling spear of cold and struck his little chest he scrambled and tumbled in under the bed clothes and covered himself up there was no paper now between him and the voice and he felt a little not frightened exactly but rather strange for what an old person this north wind must be making windows into people's houses but the voice began again and he could hear it quite plainly even with his head under the bed clothes it was a still more gentle voice now although six times as large and loud as it had been what is your name little boy it asked diamond answered diamond under the bed clothes what a funny name it's a very nice name returned its owner i don't know that said the voice well i do retorted diamond a little rudely do you know to whom you are speaking no said diamond and indeed he did not then i must not be angry with you you had better look and see though 
Diamond is a very pretty name, persisted the boy, annoyed that it had been laughed at. Diamond is a useless thing, rather, said the voice. That's not true. Diamond is very nice, as big as two, and so quiet all night. And he makes a jolly row in the morning, getting upon his four great legs. It's like thunder. You don't seem to know what a diamond is? Oh, don't I just. Diamond is a great and good horse. And he sleeps right under me. He is old diamond and I'm young diamond. Or if you like it better, for you are very particular, Mr. North Wind. He's big diamond and I'm little diamond. And I don't know which of us the father likes best. A beautiful laugh, large but very soft and musical, sounded, sounded somewhere beside him, but Diamond kept his head under the bed clothes. I'm not Mr. North Wind, said the voice. You told me that you were the North Wind, insisted Diamond. I did not say Mr. North Wind, said the voice. Well, then I do, for mother tells me I ought to be polite. Then let me tell you, I don't think it at all polite of you to say mister to me. Well, I didn't know better. I am very sorry. You can't say it's polite to lie there talking with your head under the bed clothes and never look up to see what kind of person you are talking to. I want you to come out with me. I want to go to sleep, said Diamond, very nearly crying, for he did not like to be scolded even when he deserved it. You shall sleep all the better tomorrow night. Besides, said Diamond, you are out in the neighbor's garden and I can't get there. I can only get into our own yard. Will you take your head out of the bed clothes? said the voice, just a little angry. No, answered Diamond, half peevish, half frightened. The, the instant he said the word, a tremendous blast of wind crashed in a board of the wall and whacked the sheets of Diamond. He started up in terror. Leaning over him was the large, beautiful, pale face of a woman. Her dark eyes looked a little angry, but a quivering, a quivering in her upper lip made her look as if she were going to cry. Quivering, uncooperative. What was the most strange was that away from her head, Steam streamed out her black hair in every direction so that the darkness in the hail loft looked as if it were made of her. Then the wind was over and gone. Her hair gathered still and hung down straight. Her face looked out of the midst of it like a moon out of a cloud. Will you go with me now, you little diamond? I am sorry I was so rough with you, said the lady. I will, yes, I will, answered the diamond. But, he added, my coat is in mother's room. Oh, never mind your coat. You will not be cold. Nobody is cold with the north wind. I thought everybody was, said the diamond. That is a great mistake. Most people make it, however. They are cold because they are not with the north wind, but without it. Follow me, Diamond, she said. Yes, said Diamond, only a little ruefully, ruefully in the way that expresses sorrow. You are not afraid, said the north wind. No, ma'am, but mother might mind. I know your mother very well, said the lady. She is a good woman. I have visited her often. I was with her when you were born. I love your mother, Diamond. How was it you did not know my name? Then, ma'am, I knew your name quite well, but I wanted to hear what you would say for it. Your name is a stone used as a jewel. Oh, a stone? Was it? said Diamond. I thought it had been a horse. I did. Never mind. 
a horse is better than a stone any day come along then said north wind diamond crept out of bed and followed her now come to exercises a questions 1 where was diamond's room and what was it like answer diamond's room was in the loft over the coach house it was the same place where the hay straw and oats for the horses was kept to who was diamond named after answer diamond was named after one of his father's favorite horses 3 what needed fixing and how did diamond try to fix it who fixed it in the end and how answer the wall beside diamond's bed needed fixing as the wind had blown off a small note of wood from one of the boards leaving a hole there diamond's mother fixed the hole by sticking some paper over it four what did diamond do on the stormy day answer on the stormy day diamond made a cave by the side of his mother's fire with a broken chair a three legged stool and a blanket five what two things did diamond worry that the north wind would do to him answer diamond was worried the north wind would blow on his face and give him a toothache and make him cold six knowing that north wind is powerful and frightening frightening would you have argued with her about your name like diamond did why or why not answer No I would not have argued with the north wind about my name because she seemed pushy and irritable I would not want to upset her by arguing with her as she could harm me 7 Do you think the conversation between Diamond and the north wind was friendly give reasons for your answer Answer I don't think the conversation between them was friendly Diamond was afraid of her and was hiding under the sheets. She was challenging him all the time instead of making friendly talk. She seemed like a bully to Diamond. 8. Where do you think the north wind took Diamond and what happened next? Write about the adventures the what the two would have had outdoors. Answer I think the north wind took Diamond to the north pole to tease him with all the ice. She then flew with Diamond over the sea and clouds. It made him happy to see the ships and islands in the ocean. She finally landed in a warm country where people wore unusual clothes and spoke strange language. Strange languages. Diamond would have many adventures. here before the north wind carried him back to his bed in the hay loft b reference to context read these lines from the story and then answer the questions 1 the stalk of hay rose and fell of course 1 why does the amount of hay change answer the amount of hay goes up when the coachman brings in fresh stock and slowly lowers day by day as the horses are fed b when the hay stock is low what can diamond see from his bed answer when the stock was low diamond could see the stars through the glass panes installed in the roof c when the hay stock is high What can Diamond see from his bed and how does he sometimes have to get to his bed? Answer When the stock was high Diamond could only see a yellow wall of hay all around his bed and he had to climb through a tunnel in the hay to reach his bed. 2 No answered Diamond half peevish half frightened. A Who is Diamond talking to and what is he refusing to do? Answer Diamond is talking to the north wind and he is refusing to take his head out of his bed clothes. 
B. Why is diamond feeling a bit peevish? Answer. Diamond feels a bit peevish because he simply wants to lay in his bed and go to sleep. But the north wind keeps insisting he go outside. C. Why is Diamond feeling a bit frightened? Answer. Diamond feels a bit frightened because the north wind is loud, angry and disagreeable and he is afraid of what it might do if he refuses to obey what it asks of him. D. What happens immediately after Diamond says no? Answer. As soon as Diamond said no, a burst of wind crashed in a board on the wall and swept away his blanket. 3. In this story, what is meant by A. A jolly row. Answer. A lot of noise. B. A tremendous blast. Answer. An extremely strong and noisy gust of wind. C. Words and meaning. 1. Match the words that have similar meanings. Answer. Garret. Loft. Annoyed. Peeved. Retorted. Replied. Dude. Disobliging. 2. Make up sentences that show you understand the meaning of the following. A. Peevishly. Sentence. It is your own fault, she said peevishly. B. Persisted. Sentence. He persisted in his project. C. Reofully. Sentence. So this is goodbye, she said. Ruefully. D. Started up. She started at her plate, a warm flush starting up her neck. Q ring. Sentence. The child was Q ring in her arm. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, Please share and like.